Jonathan Lee Riches investigates. They were ducking for cover at the Trump rally today. Rally attendees were flying all over the place, avoiding getting hit by a madman who was on a roof with a rifle shooting at Donald Trump. I'm going to share this clip from a journalist, Scott McFarland. He describes the scene today in Butler, Pennsylvania. Check it out. Hey, it's Scott McFarland, still on site here in Butler County, Pennsylvania. It's been a helicopter going overhead for the last couple of hours. Just a few minutes ago, the last of the rally goers who were kind of queued up behind me here in the traffic were able to exit and get out of here. Um, a bit of a holding pattern that was going on. They got us off the grounds outside that perimeter within about five minutes of the shooting, five minutes after the bullets flew. And the line at the exit was quite long for quite a while, potentially, as law enforcement searched the vehicles or talked to folks. This is an enormous and remarkably important criminal investigation. I can tell you from hearing the bullets, you know, they don't immediately just sound like bullets, not like the movies. It, it sounded like firecrackers, like pops. And some of us are kicking ourselves for taking the time to think about it and reflect on what we heard before we took cover. But boy, did we take cover. We jumped beneath the press rafters, things hitting us in the head on the way down. We saw the people, the thousands in the crowd, running into each other at some point, face planting into the grass, looking for cover. This was uh, a singular American moment, but don't underestimate the trauma and the horrors felt by those here. It was um, a nauseating experience and it's hard to unhear those bullets. It's hard to unhear the screams of people who were here, some with their kids. And though we took some grief from some of the rally goers who directed some animosity and cursing at us after this all ended, there were some who had been heckling us earlier in the day, as often happens at Trump rallies and Trump events, who came to check on us after, make sure we're doing okay after this horrible day. What in the world happened? And thank God, more people were not shot, right? Unfortunately, there has been two others that were shot. One lost their lives that were sitting in the bleachers at the Trump rally in Butler, Pennsylvania. But it could have been much, much worse. Matter of fact, the former president of the United States, he could have lost his life, right? He got hit with a bullet in the ear, blood. Now, authorities instantly shot back at the shooter and took him out, uh, eliminated the threat. But a very wild and scary and chaotic scene in Butler, Pennsylvania. Why did this happen? How did it happen? And uh, when we get the identity of the shooter that was involved with this terrible, terrible tragedy, we will share it on JLR Investigates. We will d dig deeply into the shooter and find out what in the world happened in Pennsylvania. Subscribe to my channel, like, hit the notification button. We pay for, pray for peace on JLR Investigates. We'll talk soon when more information comes out. Stay tuned.